Hi, I got my car back and I went to physical therapy today. Um, I woke up this morning um, early enough. My back's been bothering me from the futon. Anyway, so I was kind of stiff. I'm definitely stiff and sore in the morning when I get out of, out of bed from sleeping on the futon. Anyway, got up. Um, my ex-husband, he wanted or he just was like really wanted to go. He is one of these types of people that just rush, rush, rush. Let's go, let's go. You know, I don't even get a chance. I mean, I get out of bed and I hurl, I don't even get a chance to change clothes or brush my teeth. And he's like ready to go. Anyway, but I I did take the time to, to, to do those things. I wanted to, I, I hate leaving the house, you know, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm wearing pajamas and my teeth aren't brushed. I, I really, I hate that. Anyway. So I took the time to dress and, and brush my teeth and whatever. Anyway, we left. We went to Ford. We picked my car up. Um, the guy at the quick lane at, at, at the Ford dealer called and told me my car was ready. Um, turns out, transmission lines apparently are not leaking. They're fine. At least, I guess they didn't see any leaks. Anyway, everything was, um, was great. Uh, they did the transmission flush, the coolant flush. They did all of the maintenance. Come to find out, someone told me at, I think it was that Ford dealer, maybe it was another one, told me that uh, they didn't do the markers anymore, but, but, the, but the guy at the dealership said that they do. They do 30, 60, 90, pretty much every 30,000. I do my maintenance about every 45,000. Anyway, but it's, it was overdue. It was at fifty thousand. Got my oil changed. Got every, you know, got got a four wheel alignment. Got everything done. Um, set me back oh, eight hundred and fourteen bucks. Maintenance is not cheap, and that's all I did to the car. That's it. Just maintenance. Anyway, they did check the tires. The tires are going to have to be replaced. I kind of figured that. I was looking at looking at them myself. A few. Uh, couple weeks ago and I noticed that yeah, they're gonna have to be replaced anyway came home ate myself some you know ate some toast watch it which I, I've been doing every morning I eat a little toast with honey peaches a pea a, a peach and some plain Greek yogurt watched a little bit of a movie that I've already seen but my ex-husband hasn't so I left him watching that Took off, went to my physical therapy. Uh, I ended, I was not with my normal uh, gal that I'm I'm with. Uh, there was, I guess, um, she was pretty busy, so there was a, a fill-in guy there, and they started me on some um, with resistance bands and things of that nature. What I'm really really happy about. I asked him about doing them at home, but he said not yet. They want to see how I do after I went home, you know, and give it a day or so. My next appointment is going to be on Friday. I finally, I'm, I've been doing it like once a week. Once a week works great, and I, I think I have only seven, um, seven left, seven sessions, which going once a week would be seven more weeks, and I decided, you know, I really want to get it over and done with. Um, he did say that they might be able to request more, which is fine. Um, I'm not in a lot of pain when I do the um, the physical therapy some of the exercises do kind of hurt a little bit but it's not it's not extreme I have not been to the chiropractor yet I definitely want to do that and the neurologist I went to recommended it so anyway but I'm coming back on Friday which is uh, today's Wednesday that's only the day after tomorrow and then I'll be going back again Monday and then no I take that back uh, Ashley, uh, the, the gal that I'm with, Ashley, she's not available on Monday, so it'll be Tuesday, and then again Thursday, so I got my next three appointments. I'm trying to kick it up, because after those three appointments, I'm only going to have, like, four more appointments, and I think, something like that, so, yeah, something like that, maybe four, three or four appointments, and then, boom, I'm pretty much done, and... Unless, of course, they request more and they get more, which if they do, that's great. I'll just, you know, I've got to try to kick it up and, and do at least, I'm trying to get back and do, they recommended three a week, which is really hard, but two a week is definitely doable, and I'm going to try to do at least two a week until I finish out my physical therapy because I am kind of stuck, and I've talked about this before, I'm stuck going back and forth.
Anyway, I've talked about this before where I'm kind of stuck going back and forth. I go to physical therapy, I go back out on the road, and then I have to return and go to physical therapy. Then I go back out on the road again, and with work and everything, that's just, that's not overly doable. So, I did talk to my bosses about trying to get, um, maybe get that uh, taken care of, you know, just, you know, tr letting me get my physical therapy out of the way. And then, of course, when I'm on the road, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the physical therapy because I have a lot, there's a lot of exercises that she has given me to do at home where I have to lay down on a fitness mat to, to do. And I'm not sure how that's going to work, laying a mat down on the pavement out in the middle of a Walmart parking lot or someplace when I'm working. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But anyway, some of the exercises I can do standing or sitting, so those are, those are okay. But anyway... That was my day today. I went to picked up my car and got my physical therapy done and now now all that's left to do is go home. I'm here at a, here at parked in front of a Dollar Tree. I need to pick up a couple things there. I need to pick up a folder because I want to start keeping track of the maintenance and things. My car got its very first very first oil change I've ever done and very first maintenance that I've ever done and I want to keep track of all that so I'm going to get myself a folder to try to keep track anyway um there's not a whole lot left for today I know that um not a whole lot left to talk about I got my car back you know and I'm like woohoo you know got my car back no leaky transmission lines at least none that they can see I'm not going to know how the car is running or if it's still shifting a little you know shifting funny or slipping i'm not going to know what's going on with that until i take it out on the interstate and drive the car for a couple of hours two three hours and put the car under load i'm not going to know that as far as i can tell driving it around town it drives fine and i came back and when i came when i first when i got off the road and came back because i knew i had to like wait wait you know until i could um get get the car seen about as far as I could see, it was fine. There was really, there was nothing. So, um, not, you know, no, no funny shifting. Once in a while, you'd feel it's a little, like I maybe would think it was a little off, but, but nothing like off center is what I call it, but, it, but nothing really. So I'm not going to know until I take it out on the interstate, put the car under load. I won't know. And, and then if by some chance it is still shifting, it's not right then I'm not going to take it to the dealership to begin with. I will take it to a transmission shop and let them run a diagnostic and see what's going on there. Um, because I'm, def I'm not just going to take one shop's word for it anyways. I'm going to get at least two, two estimates, maybe three, if there is an issue. But I'm not there yet. Right now, hopefully everything's good. I'm pretty sure they did not do the transmission flush like the Carfax said. So if not, then the car was over definitely overdue for it. It was at fifty thousand, and it's def it was definitely overdue for a transmission flush. And they did recommend that I get drop have them drop the pan and uh, clean the filter out because I was having some issues. So I did that, and I'm I'm cool with that. Did that. So I won't have to be doing any more maintenance for at least another forty thousand or so. They recommend thirty. Um, I do mine about forty, 40, about forty-five is more like it. But anyway, I don't have anything left for today. Um, gonna stop here in the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go home, eat dinner. Um, oh, and by the way, I, yes, I know. I think I talked about this in my uh, my daily vlog. I got a sandwich, a sub at Publix. There, it's their vegan Greek sandwich with hummus and avocado, and it is so good. I mean, it is that sandwich is amazing. It is so good, and um, I did the the oil that they the Italian oil that they give to go with it is not quite not quite enough actually. I asked for two cupfuls and it wasn't quite enough. There are so many herbs in the bottom that I I did add just a tiny drop. Just a small amount, a very small amount of um, Caesar dressing that I have at the house on the sandwich because I didn't have enough uh, salad dressing for it. Anyway, added a little Caesar dressing to the sandwich as well. Not a lot, just a just a tiny bit. I don't want to overpower it. Um, the I tasted the oil and it's like mostly olive oil, I think. But anyways, 
All right, so I added a little bit of Caesar dressing along with the oil that they gave me. And again, it's the Greek sandwich at Publix. Hummus and avocado, great sandwich. Absolutely, it's just really good. It's really, really good. Anyway, um, I have half, I got a foot long and I have half, I ate half last night and I have half left tonight. Tomorrow is gonna be, again, kind of busy. Not as busy as today. Today was kind of busy because we, uh, yesterday was really busy. I dropped the car off. Today was a little better. I picked the car up. We also went to Habitat for Humanity. My ex-husband is looking for a screen door to put on um, the, the house. But we have non-standard door sizes, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. I kind of nixed the idea at, for Habitat. He also looked at a ceiling fan. He wants to put a ceiling fan in the laundry room. But I nixed the idea of getting it at Habitat because I don't know. I want to make sure if anything, if it doesn't work or, or it's not right, especially the door, we got someplace we can, we can take it back. Anyway, that said, uh, yesterday when he drove the truck, I noticed absolutely the truck is not, the speed sensors, they're not working exactly right. He's still driving the truck because he has no choice but to drive it back and forth to work. But it is definitely, I don't know, it's on the way out. I'm going to have to just, I need. I still need to get the title to it, sell it, um, whatever, do something with it. Um, anyway, tomorrow's going to be a semi-busy day. Not too busy, not too busy. We're going to go to Napa Auto Parts. Um, yesterday, I, when, I went, when I was at, at the Ford dealer, I talked to them about the battery cable that needs to be replaced on the other car that was in the shop for eight months. And they don't have the part, but... Napa does. So I ordered the part yesterday from Napa. My ex-husband finally kind of broke down and said he was going to do it. I know he's having some issues. He's having, he's not feeling good. Um, he's having a real problem with his teeth and he needs to go to the dentist. I know he's, you know, but I can't, I couldn't really, I know Ford, Ford kind of just, I know, and I talked about this in the last video. Ford just poo-pooed me and they didn't want to, you know, they just basically poo-pooed me out the door. They didn't, they don't, do not want to do the battery cable. I kind of, which is kind of understandable. It's probably, to them, that's probably a know-nothing uh, thing they don't really want to fool with because it's probably doesn't, I mean, what is it? I don't know, $100 repair, you know, basically $100, basically probably about $125, $100 for their, for their hourly labor fee and then 15 or 20 or whatever their 50 whatever the battery cable costs i know at napa it cost it was 40 or it's going to be 40 anyway haven't paid for it yet i'll pick that up tomorrow and that's about it um tomorrow's going to be like i said semi not really busy we're just going to go to napa pick up the uh, battery cable now as far as when he does the cable i, I don't know about that but i definitely want to get my uh the other car up and running and a viable option i've talked about this i talked about this in the last video i i know a lot of people are like no just don't fool with the car just junk it but and everybody my ex-boyfriend pretty much everyone's told me that the only problem is i need a second car and i can't afford to go out and pay five to seven or that eight thousand dollars for a second car because i i there's i got like fifteen fifteen thousand dollars minimum that's going to have to be put into the house so i mean there's a lot to do to that house and i've got to concentrate on getting that done and not putting any more money out for another car and if i can get this particular this car fixed enough if i can get it fixed so i can drive it i'm not planning on like i said before i'm not planning on driving it a long ways just i just need it viable so that if i need to drive it to work or go to the store i can if i needed to drive it an hour away i could it you know it's not something i'm going to drive every day it's not something i'm going to drive all the time or definitely and not a distance but i need a second viable car anyway that said i am going to end this video i don't want to make it too long um Anyway, I hope everyone has a good week, a good month. God bless. Peace.